Hi, I'm Dave Matson, CEO of Sandler. Today I'm joined with a longtime franchisee, Chip Doyle, who has recently retired. You've had the opportunity to recently retire at a relatively young age compared to those who are still stuck in corporate America that will be there probably yeah. until they pass. Um, tell us a bit about how you grew your business and what you're doing now. So uh, how I grew my business is, of course, you know, like any business, the first year was the hardest, and uh, that, that took a lot of work. But I've always been very careful about managing my profitability. I mean, top line revenue is important, but I've always been intelligent, not not you know frugal, but just intelligent about managing expenses. Uh, for instance, if I'm going to spend money on advertising, I'm going to spend a little bit of money on advertising and test it and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, well, then, you know, chalk that up to experience. If I'm going to spend money on an office, I'm not going to go crazy with, the, you know, the corner glass encased office that overlooks the, the big city. It's just, I've always just been very careful about that. Um, and then another thing is hiring very carefully, hiring one associate or maybe two, um, being dependent. I, I mean, I've always been able to keep the doors open just with myself. Uh, honestly, one of the reasons that this opportunity appealed to me is that I don't really, me personally, I don't like the idea of having 35 people reporting to me or, you know, one of my buddies at the golf club says he's got 1,200 reports. And I'm like, that sounds like torture to me. <laughs> so... So the idea that, you know, I could just count on myself and, and get paid for my own hard work, um, those, were, those were kind of the philosophies that guided me along. And, and if you manage your expenses, you know, uh, you can make a lot of profit. I mean, it, one of the biggest issues as I got later on in the, you know, about year 15 was taxes. You start paying an enormous amount of money to the government, and so you've got to – I mean, this is a good problem to have. I'm not complaining, but you, if you, as long as you manage your expenses, you can do very well and, and make very large profit margins. So what are you doing now? Uh, so um, what am I doing now? I'm not doing any more sales coaching, but um, I'll tell you what. I do have equity in a couple of the companies that I worked with over many years, and obviously, you know, I'm keeping an eye on that, and I call them up once in a while and see how they're doing. Um, Check in your mailbox for the checks. Uh, yeah, right, exactly, or, you know, options and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of exciting, actually. It, it was not – that's another thing, too, is that's not – was not a core part of my business when I was a sales coach. But, you know, every now and then an opportunity like that would present itself and and I would never encourage a Sandler trainer to only get paid in equity. They should always get some cash component. But that's been a really nice thing and and I've been able to save a lot of money. So I'm uh you know, I'm I'm playing lead guitar in a band now. Which is very cool. That's something I've wanted to do my whole life, and I'm actually playing lead guitar. I'm trying to learn how to sing. Um, I've worked with a, a Sandler person here locally to turn over uh, all my customers, and uh, that's going to be financially lucrative for both of us. So I'm definitely talking to him, you know, once or twice a week and making sure that everything's going well. And when he's got questions about, you know, ABC account and who, who is this Mary person and why is she so rude to me on the phone, I can say, well, that's Mary and don't take it personally. So I, I got a lot going on. I'm playing a lot more golf. My handicap is one as of today. So yeah, shot, I, I shot a, I shot a couple of rounds under par this summer. Wow. So, you know, life is good. And of course I'm learning to cook. I'm, I'm doing a lot more stuff. I'm doing a lot more of the uh, cooking for the, the family. There you go. So Chip, I really appreciate it. You know, I've been a fan of yours for a long time. I've told you that many times. And so if you want to be like Chip who controls their own destiny, controls their own lifestyle, why don't you give us a call? at 410-559-2033 or email us at franchising at sandler.com. I look forward to the opportunity to helping make sure that this is your last career stop.